For several years now, Statoil, based in the Conklin area just south of Fort McMurray, has been funding research work into the impact their operation may be having on the woodland caribou. Footprint causes a physical disturbance on the landscape, causes an impact. Uh, what the significance or, or the magnitude of that is, I, I don't know. There's lots of information that's been out, previous studies, the results that we've got agrees with some of it. It, it doesn't necessarily agree with some of, some of the other findings. So I think it's, uh, it will form the basis of a good solid scientific discussion and debate. Uh, will there be an impact of development? There's always an impact. Whether it's significant, I, I don't know. We know that uh, over the past 20, 30 years that the caribou populations have been declining. But it's on that point where things get interesting. While there is general agreement caribou numbers are going down, there has never been a statistically proven population estimate for woodland caribou until now. The Statoil research indicates caribou numbers are actually higher than previously estimated, at least in their study area. Well, we've learned a couple of things. First, we've learned that the caribou population in the portion that we studied is more than twice than what we had anticipated. And that's a really a good news story. We've learned that in the winter time, deer are the main food for wolves. They eat about 80% 80, 80 of wolf's diet is deer. About 10% is caribou, about 10% is moose. Even though the population is higher than anticipated, caribou is still a listed species. And the lichen program is one of several approaches Statoil is developing to help mitigate impact on them. So we're, we've started a study on, on lichen propagation. Lichen is a very slow growing uh, species and we've had an extensive fire in the southern part of our study area, the, the House River fire. We know from a lichen survey work that's been done, there's not a lot of lichen here. So what we'd like to be able to do is reintroduce lichen. So the question is, where do you introduce it? What are the optimum growing conditions? How do you expedite or speed up that recovery of lichen in the population? Now, how all this information has been gathered is the subject of our next trip out here. When I'll introduce you to some rather remarkable dogs, which can sniff out caribou scat through several feet of snow.